scriptural way of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, grant that we who meditate on the passion and death of your Son, Jesus Christ, may imitate in our lives his love and self-giving to you and to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son to save the world through him. John 3.16 He was harshly treated, yet he submitted and did not open his mouth. He was silent like a lamb led to the slaughter, or a sheep before the shearers, and did not open his mouth. Isaiah 53, 7 No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. John 15, 13 Let us pray. Father, in the flesh of your Son, you condemned sin. Grant us the gift of eternal life. In the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The second station, Jesus bears his cross. Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Isaiah 53, 4. Those who wish to be my followers must deny their very selves, take up their cross daily, and follow me. Luke 9, 23. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Matthew 11:28. Let us pray. Father, your son Jesus humbled himself and became obedient to death. Teach us to glory above all else in the cross, in which is our salvation. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. He has broken my teeth with gravel and trampled me in the dust. I have been deprived of peace and have forgotten what happiness is. Lamentations 3.16 The Lord has laid upon him the iniquity of us all. Isaiah 53.6 Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. John 1.29 Let us pray. Father, help us to remain irreproachable in your sight, so that we can offer you our body as a holy and living offering. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The Fourth Station Jesus Meets His Mother did you not know that I must be in my father's house? Luke 2.49 Come, all you who pass by along the road, look and see whether there is any pain like my pain. Lamentations 1.12 You are now in anguish, but I will see you again. Then your hearts will rejoice, and no one shall deprive you of your joy. John 16, 22. Let us pray. Father, accept the sorrows of the Blessed Virgin Mary, mother of your Son. May they obtain from your mercy every good for our salvation. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The fifth station, Jesus is helped by Simon. Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Matthew 25, 40 Bear one another's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Galatians 6, 2 A servant is not greater than his master. John thirteen sixteen. Let us pray. Father, you have first loved us, and you sent your Son to expiate our sins. Grant that we may love one another and bear each other's burdens. We ask this through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. His appearance was disfigured beyond that of any man, and his form marred beyond any human likeness. Isaiah 52, 14. Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. John 14, 9. The Son is the reflection of God's glory and the exact representation of his being. Hebrews 1, 3. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, grant that we may reflect your Son's glory and be transformed into his image so that we may be configured to him. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. The seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. I was hard pressed and close to falling, but the Lord came to my aid. Psalms 118.13 We do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tested in every way as we are, but without sinning. Hebrews 4.15 Come to me, all you who are weary and overburdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11.28 Let us pray. God our Father, grant that we may walk in the footsteps of Jesus, who suffered for us, and renamed us not with gold and silver, but with the price of his own blood. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women. Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but for yourselves and for your children. Luke 23, 28. Whoever does not abide in me, will be thrown away like a withered branch. John 15, 6. You will all come to the same end as some Galileans who perished unless you repent. Luke 13, 3. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you desire to show mercy rather than anger toward all who hope in you. Grant that we may weep for our sins and merit the grace of your glory. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The ninth station, Jesus falls a third time. My strength is trickling away like water, and all my bones are dislocated. My heart has turned to wax and melts within me. My mouth is as dry as clayware and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You have laid me down in the dust of death. Psalms 22, 15. Let your attitude be identical to that of Christ. He emptied himself, taking the form of a slave. Philippians 2, 5 through 7. All who exalt themselves shall be humbled, and those who humble themselves shall be exalted. Luke 14, 11. Let us pray. God our Father, look with pity on us, oppressed by the weight of our sins, and grant us your forgiveness. Help us to serve you with our whole heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. They divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. Psalms 22, 19. Those who do not renounce all their possessions cannot be my disciples. Luke 14, 33. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and allow no opportunity for the flesh. Romans 13, 14. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, let nothing deprive us of your love, neither trials nor distress nor persecution. May we become the wheat of Christ and be one pure bread. Grant this through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. Psalms 22, 17. Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. Luke 23, 34. I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but to do the will of him who sent me. John 6, 38. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, your Son reconciled us to you and to one another. Help us to embrace his gift of grace and remain united with you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. Psalms 22, 17. Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. Luke 23, 34. I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but to do the will of him who sent me. John 6, 38. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, your Son reconciled us to you and to one another. Help us to embrace his gift of grace and remain united with you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Twelve Station Jesus dies on the cross. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. John 12:32. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Luke 23:46. He humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him. Philippians 2, 8 and 9. Let us pray. God our Father, by his death your Son has conquered death, and by his resurrection he gave us life. Help us to adore his death and embrace his life. Grant this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. Thus it is written that the Messiah would suffer and on the third day rise from the dead. Luke 24, 26 Those who love your law have great peace. Psalms 119, 165 This is how God showed his love. He sent his only Son to the world as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. 1 John 4, 9 Let us pray. God our Father, grant that we may be associated in Christ's death, so that we may advance toward the resurrection with great hope. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The fourteenth station, Jesus is placed in the tomb. Unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. However, if it dies, it bears much fruit. John 12:24. When Christ died, he died to sin, once and for all. However, the life he lives, he lives for God. In the same way, you must regard yourselves as being dead to sin and alive for God in Christ Jesus. Romans 6, 10, and 11 Christ was raised to life on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 15, 4 Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you raised Jesus from the dead through your Holy Spirit. Grant life to our mortal bodies through that same Spirit who abides in us. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Let us pray. 
Heavenly Father, you delivered your Son to the death of the cross to save us from evil. Grant us the grace of the resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the Grace of the Passion O Lord, for the redemption of the world, you willed to be born among human beings, subjected to the rite of circumcision, rejected by the people, betrayed by Judas with a kiss, beyond the cords, led like an innocent lamb to slaughter, shamelessly exposed to the gaze of Annas as well as Caiaphas, Pilate, and Herod, accused by false witnesses, tormented by scourges and insults, spat upon and crowned with thorns, struck with blows of hand and reed, blindfolded and stripped of your garments, affixed to the wood and lifted high on the cross, numbered among thieves, given gall and vinegar to drink, and pierced by a lance. Lord, by these most holy sufferings, which we, your unworthy servants, devoutly call to mind, and by your holy cross and death, deliver us from the pains of hell, and be pleased to take us where you took the penitent thief, who was crucified with you, who live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.